What's up, my fellow trade hackers? Today is Thursday, January 2nd. Happy New Year. It's good to have the markets back open. Can't wait for next week where we get an actual full week of trading. But uh, what's going on today? Looking at the SPX, taking off right where it left off last year with an up day, uh, up about 12 points. Uh, at this point of this recording, there's still about a couple hours left in the cash markets here on Thursday, but just continuing that march higher. What did we do today? A couple things. We closed out a Tesla Iron Duck, booked a beak profit. We've also got Iron Ducks in Google and Amazon that are expiring tomorrow. So if we can't get out of these with more than the beak profit, for Google, for example, it's way up the beak, so we'll, we may just let that expire, collect that beak profit. Same with Amazon. This is a reverse iron duck, I'm just collecting that beak profit. So small profits, more beaks bringing in the new year. What else? So the other thing I wanted to mention just about the overall market is, interestingly enough, we've got a, actually a mixed market. The S&P was up over 20 points earlier this morning, and the Russell was pretty flat. Now the Russell is down three quarters of a percent, minus 0.76% at this point in the rut where the S&P is up. So kind of an interesting little mixed bag. The other thing is we put on a, a weekly double calendar in rut. Now the rut is down, but what's interesting, almost a percent, but what's interesting with, the, with a lot of the other market, the NASDAQ and the S&P being up, is implied volatility in the rut contracted. So Normally, if you get you know nearly a percent decline in an index like this, you're going to see a spike, a little bit of a pop higher in, in implied volatility, but not the case today. With the rut being down, implied volatility is still contracting. And then if you look at, obviously, like I said, the S&P up 12 points and the VIX is down over almost 7.5%. So another interesting move in relation to the index versus the volatility. And of course, this is a holiday week of trading. So you got to take kind of what happens with a grain of salt. That's not always typical as what would happen uh, in a normal trading session, just because the volume is lower. There's a lot of traders still out, not a lot of activity. So take it with a grain of salt, but just interesting observation. Remember, we were we were talking about last week how the VIX and its relationship to SPX, you know, if the S&P is up a percent, then the VIX typically is going to be down, you know, six to nine percent. In this case, the S&P is only up a little over a quarter percent, yet the VIX is just contracting like crazy. So a lot of premium getting sucked out of these short volatility plays. Uh, so we'll be interested to see what happens when we regain a full market a full trading week next week. That's all I got for you today. We will send out the weekly portfolio update to pro members tomorrow, and then I'll catch all you trade hackers next week. Have a good one.